This story begins with a guy called Mark. He is a very talented guy. One day he wakes up in the morning and gets ready to go to school. He is kind of a nerdy guy when it comes to science and physics. On his way to school, he would help people, teach others what to do and again help people on his way. After school, he would even do his part-time job. He happily walks into a store to check his lottery ticket, where he even end up winning. Later at the pool he ends up meeting a girl who he saves from falling and drops her home. But she isn't interested in him. He goes to his friend's house and join him while he is playing a video game. Right after they talk about, what if, the life was also like the game. Where you wake up every day and live the same day again and again. They talk with lots of contradictions with each other with many different assumptions of possibilities. Mark suggests that they would be the king of the universe, but his friend thinks that they would be all alone or like the last man on earth. One night this becomes a reality and Mark's life changes. He starts to live the same day as a loop. Next time at the pool same thing happens, but this time a girl stops the interrupt the incident and other girl does not fall. He is amazed by the girl and starts to follow her. Throughout the story he is explaining all this to his friend. That Mark is into this girl a lot and really trying to talk to her. He finds a flyer for a dog, but when he called he find out that this was the wrong number. Mark even goes to a dog shelter to look for the mysterious girl, but she is nowhere to be found. One day he finally meet her outside of the store. She seemed a bit bothered by him, he asked her the question if she is also experiencing the same day happening again and again. She reveals that the same thing is happening with her as well. Mark explains that he had been looking for her and gets to know that she was using this time to teach herself how to drive. It feels like they have a lot in common. They both feel like everyone is sleepwalking and they are the only one awake. Mark takes Margaret to take a look at a funny incident that makes them both laugh. They do this couple of time before going their own way. Mark comes home and he finally has Margaret's number and recall it in his mind to give her a call after the loop. He starts to share pictures of him doing weird things until they finally decide to meet up. Mark asks about the craziest thing she had ever done, to which she proceeds to take him somewhere mysterious. Margaret also reveals that her dream is to be an astronaut. Since she does not know how to drive, she proceed to drive like a maniac until they reach their checkpoint. They sit at the front of the lake and looks at the eagle's skills of hunting the fish. She leave him at his house and leave for somewhere important. Mark and Margaret meets up once again. They sit and look at an amazing moment, where a girl does a stunt for the first time and everyone cheers her. Both of them also sit on a construction vehicle and talk. They are trying to figure out, what is this time loop all about? Mark suggests her that maybe there is something to collect and they can be partners, like Pokemon cards. But Margaret does not think like Mark and does not want the state to cease. Somehow she agrees with Mark and decide to go on. At the store they talk about the four dimensions, it is around them all the time. Margaret thinks that the whole world is a map in the fourth dimension, but she won't ever find it. Then they proceed to go and find perfect things. They go on different places and it seems like everything is already perfect. Sometimes simple things are the most beautiful things in the world. In the evening, Margaret start to teach Mark about maths. After that, their eye catches a beautiful cloud and Margaret leaves right after. Later at home, Mark's father is willing to talk to him about his future and the loop starts again. Mark is looking for some suggestion to impress Margaret, to which his friends suggest to kiss her. They are waiting on someone to leave the premises and enter themselves. Inside the building Margaret is introduced to a self-made moon and space shuttle. Seeing this, she looks like the happiest person alive. They have a great time while they are inside, until Mark take her on his bicycle and ride around for a while. Both end up in Mark's house, have a drink and watch a movie. There Mark is getting ready to kiss her. Before that, she found a map that Mark build or builds every day, of the places that they went to. Right after, he try to move his head towards Margaret, but she does not let him kiss her. She would rather be his friend than a girlfriend. He talks to his friend again and only get the usual answer. At Mark's home, his father again wants to talk about his future, Mark suggests that he does not have a future and the time is broken. He ends up insulting his dad really bad and later tells this to his sister. She explains that their father lost his job and got fired, their mother is angry at their father. So they are basically stuck now. Later Mark goes and meet his maths teacher and start to ask him about the time loop. He wants to know the reason it might be happening. The professor gives a reference that they would just have to take like a plane and get out of the time loop. Mark is trying to talk to Margaret, but she would just not listen. He yells at Margaret to stop, she suggests that he is acting like this because she would not kiss him. They are met with silence for a moment. Later Margaret show him a house, which they break and reduce their stress in a great way. Mark tell about the incident with his math teacher, but Margaret is not ready to leave the time loop yet. He tells her that they are stealing people's lives, because they are stuck. So Margaret decide to find a way to stop the loop. 
They think maybe going far away is going to change things for them. So they decide to go to Tokyo. They both end up sitting inside the plane, but Margaret leave Mark and goes away. She texts him goodbye, to which Mark decide to get off too, but it was too late. Later it happened once again and the loop did not break. This time Mark asked his father for his new book and make him happy. He went to his sister's football match and cheered her with pure passion. He gave away his lottery ticket to a woman and made her day. He appreciated all those small moments and cheered all the people that he watched, including impressing his math teacher. But in the end in the verge to impress the skater group, he ends up getting injured. Meanwhile, he watches Margaret inside the hospital and follows her. He finds out that the reason she always leaves early is because her mother does not have too long to live. This was devastating to see and makes Mark shed some tears. Mark wakes up in the morning and run away outside and stops his mother on her way and hugs her. Last time Margaret asked to her mother about Mark and she said that it is not too late. She finally understood that she will have to let her mother go. Meanwhile, she also finds out the dog, who she was looking for from the beginning and goes to Mark's friend's house. It was not her dog at all and she leave the dog at his house after talking about their time loop situation. She also understood that Mark was right, there was a perfect moment and she need to find it out. She goes to her house and looks at the map and go to all those places that Mark and her spend time at. She is finally able to make a clue and figure out a perfect spot in the map. Which was at the same pool at 7 in the evening. Next day she goes at the pool and finds Mark sitting there. She reveals about the pattern and talks about the last perfect moment and it is the key. Mark tell her that he saw her at the hospital, to which, she reveals how her mother was dying and she wasn't ready for it. So she was just thinking that the next day cannot happen without her mother, so the loop started. Right after, Margaret ends up kissing Mark and the perfect moment should be complete here. After meeting her mother, she hold Mark's hand and goes outside where it starts to thunderstorm and rain heavily. The loop was all complete and they hug each other with pure passion. Next day, they take the lost dog to its owner and the movie ends here.